All right, everybody. I've been playing around on this thing today. Kind of took a little break. It come off. Heck of a storm. Kind of washed out and I had to make a... <laughs> started getting a little uh, water in my building, so... Changed my... Yeah. My building's kind of underground. Anyway, I got a couple of things done. Uh, yesterday, I got the toolbox on it. The bracket. Uh, let's see if I can... So I made a bracket there. I don't know if I showed that in the other one, but... And then I put this little, I had this little uh, jack, so I just tack welded it pretty good, I mean, enough to where if I want to change it, I can grind it off fairly easy with a cutting wheel and use it, but still got to clean this out. I put two cross bracket, like, pieces of steel going that way angle iron that's what I'm looking for <laughs> that way because my water tanks gonna sit right here so like I say I got to clean this out but I still got enough room here for a little I don't know maybe put the spare tire I'd actually thought about putting a spare tire under the back where you know it normally goes but like today when I sit on the tailgate oh I got me a tailgate there's that found that of course, I took this, uh, took the aluminum clad off of it because, I mean, after all, it's going to be a camper. <laughs> so, I've got some little plugs in the holes right now, but it looks a lot better than with the clad on it. So, found me a toolbox. Made me, uh, what I was talking about with the uh, weight on the front. I sat down on the tailgate today and the whole front of the camper come up. Didn't even think about it not being hooked or nothing. So, did kind of what I did on my other camper uh, to help stabilize the stabilizers. I welded that uh, piece of steel across the bottom there. Two anchors. Ain't big enough bolts, it's gotta get a little bigger. I mean, they work. Quarter inch, I mean, quite a bit of breaking strength, so. But the premise of this, if you can see it, this little crank strap, you wouldn't think it, but this crank strap will actually jack up the back of the truck. So I mean, but the main reason for that, so I can sit on the tailgate, jump up and down on the tailgate without it flipping up. So, sorry for the crappy camera. So anyway, that'll, and let's see. Let's see if I can do this one hand. Basically here is you take this and like I say, I come up with this. I don't know how long ago, I did it on my other camper too. And then these right here. Well, if I can do it, I doubt I can do it one handed. So bear with me. Uh, much easier with two hands or I can get a different system right now I'm just gonna bungee around it the other one will do the same but that way they'll be up out of the way which is why they're in the center and not further out if I put them further out and did that I would get it a lot more stable but then the boards would stick out past the truck so they're doing what they're supposed to do and that is keep me from want to climb up on the tailgate and it's that simple i mean and that'll get a little further out when i put eventually put smaller wheels and tires on it because right now it's got 20s with big old tires too high uh, so I'm going to lower it, it'll lower it probably about two inches, uh, somewhere around there. So that'll make those spread out just a little. And of course, depending on the ground, wherever you're camping and stuff too. But and then you just put this back on here. 
and just like you would anything else, I don't know if I can, as you can see, it'll, see it's actually lifting the back, so it's not tight per se, but it keeps it from spreading out when I sit down. So if you watch, as you put weight on it, I don't know if you can see there or not. But basically, it just holds itself there. So, like I say, doing what it's supposed to do. Didn't get the wood because I found the tail tailgate. So plywood will have to wait again. But this was more important right here. I needed a, I needed a tailgate. The other one was crap. But I mean, if I wanted to go camping right now, I mean, all I'd have to do is take take all this wood out and throw a mattress in the back of it. And really, I mean, it's it's ready. I just want to be fancy, you know. Always overdo stuff. But I mean, once I get uh, watch this wood, man. This tailgate's heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna need a shock or something. It's heavier than my new model F one fifty. But anyway, I want the wood on it with the mattress, so that way I can throw my canopy or an extra tent in case the boys go or, you know, whatever else. I can. Right now, I ain't got to make any drawers, really. But I can just throw some totes under there that'll fit under there and, you know, fish them out. I mean, just lift up the plywood and get them out when I need them. Uh, so, slow project. Coming along, coming along. Like I say, those wheels will eventually be replaced with those wheels. They're a little too shiny for camping anyway. Which is also why I took the aluminum clad, big old Ford aluminum clad off of the back of that tailgate because it's uh, just too flashy. So eventually I'll probably paint this thing, I don't know. That white will stand out in the woods and I mean I just don't know if I like that. So we might end up with some OD green. Or camouflage, <laughs> who knows? But anyway, that's what I did today. Got some of it done. A little bit here and there. Boys are gone, so I've just been tinkering. I mean, it almost looks like a truck sitting in here. If you didn't know that the front half was missing off of it. I wish I could get another jack, but that'll have to wait too, because. One, I want to be like a drop leg so I can actually, in case it's in a hill or something, I can extend it out and actually level that a little bit better. But, not for now. I'm loving it though. I mean, I think it's perfect. Because like I say, I mean, everything in the back, you put your bed in there. You know, I mean, if you want, you can pile a bunch of firewood up under there. Put your camping stuff under one side. Take off. <laughs> Looking a little rough. Man, it come a big old storm here earlier. I'm soaking wet where I got out there getting that ditch. But they don't seem to mind it. I get them some worms. <laughs> Alright, y'all have a good one. Maybe if I do something else fancy, get the wood in there. Or the plywood eventually or something. That'd probably be later on a little. But like I say, it tailgate kind of set me back. But I can't wait, man, until I get some lights in here and <laughs> a little bit of too much, man. I'll put that battery on. I'll have all kinds of stuff in here for the for the wife, of course. You know, I've got to have some of uh, the nice stuff. Uh, amenities from home in there but anyway y'all have a good one i'm gonna go up and get out of here i've been working on this too much today y'all have a good one talk to y'all later on